We're going to the woods and we're getting fuel. And this fucking pump leaks. So it's all down the side of my truck and all the dirt in the woods is gonna stick to it. it looks like I got tarred and feathered. And did you see that? I can bleep out cuss words now. So I know Austin's watching this and I know Austin cusses a lot because everybody complains about it. So Austin, you can cuss now and I can bleep out the words. It's all good. So we are headed out into the Ochoco National Forest to go pick up a minivan that broke down out there. I guess it just died and won't start again. And uh, we're gonna tow it to Portland. So got a long haul on this one because first we gotta go about an hour out into the woods that way. And then we gotta go like three hours to Portland that way. Plus the hour back out of the woods. So it's gonna be a long day. But it's not gonna be as long of a day as the guy who's broke down out here because he's been waiting for a tow truck for four days. I guess this broke down, today's Wednesday, so that'd be some point over the weekend it broke down on him. And he contacted his roadside assistance company, which we are not a contractor for any roadside assistance companies, but he contacted his roadside assistance company and they have been trying to find him a tow truck for four days. So we are headed out towards Walton Lake right now we're going through the Ochoco Creek Valley and this place is beautiful I want to live here it's so nice out here a bunch of cows standing in the shade there I love it out here okay we are just turning on to Walton Lake Road apparently we got to go 1.8 miles up this road according to the customer and we will find his van on the right side of the road Down there we are not 1.8 miles so we'll back up oh rough down here the license plate number and this is it it's gonna be kind of a goofy hookup from the front here but we'll get it okay so here's our van it's kind of tucked up in the corner of this brush right here and needs to go back out that way it's a front wheel drive the rear end the parking brake is can't tell hopefully the parking brakes off if not we gotta unlock it and take the parking brake off it's a nice campsite here. I'm kind of thinking, hook it up at like a 90 degree angle here since the brush is in front of it. Drag it down here, back it into here, and then tow it out there through all that rust stuff and try not to bottom out the back end. So let's give that a shot. Okay, let's see how bad I can screw this up here. Lower this down some, don't hit the van. Crank the wheel, spin the crossbar underneath. And I think I need to adjust a little bit. And then it should be it right there. Let's go see how bad I did. Holy crap, I did it. I ain't hit anything underneath. Let's see here. Let's pull you. If you're wondering why you're spinning around, it's because I'm unscrewing you off the tripod. So, got lined up with that wheel. Didn't hit the corner here. Got lined up with that wheel and missed everything underneath. And yeah, I took a million pictures already of all this type of stuff and scrapes on the side and all that stuff but yeah that actually went a little better than i thought so let's hook it up and figure out how we're gonna get turned around and out of here okay we got it loaded up on the wheel lift and we just got the front wheel straps on it 
and uh, we couldn't do a safety change or anything like that until we get out on the road because I got this crossbar extended way out to make these turns as you can see I'm running it up and down as I come over this dip so that I don't run the crossbar into the bottom of the front bumper and don't drag the back bumper on the ground over there now we'll back up into this hole over here See if we can get right in there. Miss all the tree branches. And now, back over this hump without bottoming out. So we just move the wheel lift up and down as needed. Handy thing about having the in cab controls. And off we go. Okay, now we just gotta get through all these ruts and dips here, and I'm gonna try to stay on the high part of them. And what I don't know is if putting the camera down in that rut is gonna be enough clearance for all this to go over the top of, or if I'm about to run over my $500 gimbal camera. Aw, sorry about that. I totally thought it was clear. Actually, I kinda halfway thought it wouldn't clear, but I figured I'd try it anyway. Either way, we've got the van out to the road, so I can lower the wheel lift down a little bit now and put safety chains on, put the light on the back, and we can go to Portland. Okay, safety chains are on, tow lights on the back, wheel lifts adjusted. Look at this. Someone's been fishing for rednecks. All right, let's head to Portland. It's just gorgeous out here. I love this place. Check out this old abandoned house. So dude just tumbled excavator down the hill and it stopped right there. Blew out all their containers and stuff. Well, that wasn't good, was it? Got the loader holding this one in place. Well, that one tries to dig them out. more fuel. Now here we are three, four hours later, whatever it's been in the city of Portland, and I don't like it. Uh, not like Portland specifically, like any city or crowded place or really anywhere if there's more than about five people. Um, they make me very uncomfortable. My blood pressure goes through the roof, and as soon as I get to one, I just want to leave. So. We're gonna go find out where to unload this car and then do that. Doesn't even make sense. Now we go over here. I don't know. So dumb. I want to leave. Okay, I think it's right here. I hope it's right here. Figure out what to do with this stupid thing. Yeah, that's it. Now, what the hell do we do here? Doesn't even make sense. Okay, it is unloaded and we are getting out of here. Hopefully very, very quickly. Um, three hours back home. To people who deal with this on an everyday basis, I do not know how you do it. This is insane. Like 
why is there a road here and one here to go that way and then there's people coming from this way hey look that just merges right back onto the same road why stop Deep breaths. Oh wow, look at that. Why is there a propane tank on a shopping cart? Got central heat? Go away. Look at this. Oh, there's some tow homies. Dude, I give you a ton of credit for doing this job in this place. I would have quit like when I started. Wow. Plant sale. What kind of plants do you think they're selling in that RV? Huh? Put in the comments what kind of plants you think that RV is selling. Happy birthday, baby. You're gonna write that on an outhouse? That's your happy birthday? Hey, we are finally out of the city and back into the mountains. See? Mountains and trees. But now I can relax a little bit and actually think enough to talk. But luckily we got that dropped off pretty quick and easy with no major troubles and got back out of there as quick as we could. And now we're heading home. It really sucks that that guy's van had to sit out in the woods for four days before he got a tow, but there's nothing I can really do about that part of it because we can't tow vehicles until we get called to tow vehicles. So anyway, uh, this should be the second video that has a little different editing, some more music in it and some more stuff like that. And I'm real curious what you guys think about that because I'm very much on the fence. I really like the the videos that are much more cut and dry and no fluff added in and filler and all that stuff. Um, I definitely don't like intros and outros and all that, so you will probably never see that on my videos. But as far as in the video itself, what do you think? Do you like a little more music here and there? Do you like just how I've been doing them before that? Or let me know because I'm back and forth on it. But anyway, as long as when nothing else crazy happens on the way home. That's it for this one, and we will see you guys next time.